Alright guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the current state of Apex Legends Mobile. The game globally launched two weeks ago and there's a lot of hate going around the community right now. So today, we're going to break down all the details of what needs changing in Apex Mobile. And we need your feedback, so let's get straight into it. Alright, let's start with number one, server selection. Right now, Apex Legends Mobile has a problem with its servers, meaning that every few games you get into, you'll get put into a lobby with regions from all over the world. Now, I'm from the EU and half of my matches are played on an EU server where I expect it, you know, to be lag-free and low ping. Nope. Instead, the lowest ping I achieve is around 50 to 60, which isn't terrible. It's, you know, still playable, but I expect at least 10 to 20 pings so that my bullets actually register into the enemy. Every few games, I will get put into a lobby mixed with other regions such as North America, Japan, Latin America, which then causes my ping to skyrocket all the way up into the 200 to 250 range. Now, for players with bad internet, this gets even worse because I've seen players that, you know, their ping can go right up to 600 plus for some players. Now, the easy fix for this, obviously, is to add more servers, right? And better optimize them to let players match with their own regions. A lot of people are complaining about this and making it priority, but honestly, I think Respawn have done it on purpose. Being able to match with the entire world results in less queue times and gives the option for you to play with friends from around the world as well. Now, obviously, the downfall is obviously high ping and more lag. But what do you guys think in the comments? Do you want them to add server selection so you can play on your own server and that'll maybe result in waiting longer to play matches let me know what you think now next up is device optimization now apex legends mobile is a huge game with tons of texture loads of in-game assets this basically results in lower end devices running the game very very poorly the lowest requirements to play the game is an android 6.0 or later with a snapdragon 435 or an iphone 6s or later even on these low-end phones the game still runs very badly and laggy which is causing a lot of players to leave the game since other mobile games are much better optimized. Now remember guys, Apex Mobile has been out for almost two weeks and mobile global launches are never perfect. Respawn are actually working with Tencent who brought us Call of Duty Mobile and when COD M came out, it was the same case with horrible optimization and with time the game got more updates and Tencent made it more available for more lower end devices for it to run more smoothly. Now the iPhone 6s and the Snapdragon 435 Android phones came out in 2015-16 which was six years ago, so you guys shouldn't expect to run Apex Mobile perfectly upon a global launch with one of these old devices. I know obviously some people can't afford newer phones, but given time, I think Respawn will better optimize the game to let you at least run the game and make it playable. So just give it time, guys. Now at the moment, monetization. Monetization in the game, Apex Mobile players are feeling robbed and overwhelmed with, you know, the in-game skins and the purchases, and, you know, they're right to do so. The Apex Mobile global launch has brought us hundreds of skins already which comes with crazy high prices now let me start with the good things okay the battle pass the battle pass is actually reasonably priced at 799 syndicate gold for the standard one which is around 799 english pound and then for the premium one it only costs 1599 sg which is around 13 to 14 pound and the battle pass actually comes with tons of cool skins and items to get players started and it gives a way for players to actually earn the skins by buying the battle pass as well but then we go and take a look at the store now all Already, upon the global launch, you will find lucky draws which are quite clearly fixed so that you can you have to spend a certain amount of money in order to get the epic items. Now I made a video recently doing the trial of the hunter draw where I spent over 80 English pound, which is a hundred dollars plus, and I still didn't get the highlighted Gibraltar skin, which is the one I wanted. It was quite clearly fixed as I went through every single tier, starting at the bottom to the top, even though it said I had a percentage chance to get the highest item. And then next you have the golden geometry draw, which I'm actually scared to even attempt, but it works the same as the other one. In this one, you can actually get some pretty cool items, but I've seen creators spend 15,200 gold, which amounts to $132 just to get one wingman skin, which is crazy. And then also, that's not it. We've also seen, you know, the new legend Fade, which, you know, he's insane. I'm, I'm really happy with Fade at the moment, but along with him, we get the extreme speed draw, where you have to open packs worth 70 syndicate gold each to have a chance at winning some epic skins. Now I've known people to go through 50,000 worth of gold 
to not get one single red skin highlighted. That's $500 plus without one red skin. That's either super unlucky or there's some sort of fix going on there. Enough said. Now, monetization is a big issue. I know that Respawn obviously have to make money from the game, but pricing stuff this high will just put players off from spending any money in the game, especially for mobile gamers as well. Now, there are some good things in the game, like the free-to-earn skins that Respawn have added by doing, you know, seasonal events and challenges. But I personally think monetization overall just needs to be reduced. Can't be charging mobile gamers who are struggling to even buy a better mobile gaming phone to play your game. Crazy in-game prices like that. Let me know what you think about monetization in the comments. Now, next up is in-game bugs and exploits. Yes, the game has a ton of in-game bugs like walking through doors, getting stuck, sound bugs where you can hear shots which aren't actually there in the distance, and then the worst bug of all is the new Infinity Bunny Hop. Now most of these small bugs will obviously get patched in time, but for the Bunny Hop, I actually think it's a great movement tool in the mobile version, and it offers something a bit different to the PC and console version. Now to do it infinitely, where you never stop, that's a big no-no, as you can see, players basically surf from one side of the map to the other really, really quickly. Now you can fix this by adding a cooldown time on the jump but what do you guys think about that should it be nerfed or should it be totally scrapped let me know what you think now lastly is just the social communication so far respawn haven't been very active on socials for the global launch of their brand new game which isn't a good sign so much of the community are complaining and offering feedback with no response the players come first in any new mobile game and it's the most important thing for a developer to actually listen to the community and act quickly to stop players from leaving and badmouthing the game all over social media now we're in that stage right now two weeks into the global launch of apex mobile there's no communication on twitter instagram facebook from respawn whatsoever there's only skins and in-game promos now granted they have updated the website with everything we need to know about the game but to actually let the players know that their questions are being heard just respond on socials even just a little tweet saying you know yes we are here guys we hear you just give us time to fix the bugs and the glitches thank you that goes a long way especially in the mobile space and it gives players hope that changes will come but I think they will. EM Respawn are great at providing updates to their game, and we all have to remember this is a global launch and it's only been two weeks. But every game goes through this mobile phase, guys. So what I want you guys to do is hit a like on this video and comment your feedback below, starting with the priorities so I can forward it across to Respawn. And for you guys that are thinking of giving up on the game already, just give it some time. Things will change. More updates will roll out. But again, let me know in the comments what you think. So bit of a different video. I just wanted to get this out there. There's a lot of us content creators that are trying to relay all this information to respawn as well but i just wanted to break it down all for you guys today so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace